played this festival several years now. It's such a wonderful festival, and anybody who's been here before knows how much great music there is and just how much fun it is to kind of go up and down the beach and just immerse yourself in all this great music. Uh, I'll be playing tonight with uh, Selena and Yamina, the Finnish sisters who have come all the way from Finland for this festival. Uh, we'll be playing here, and then I'm playing uh, solo on Saturday, and with my band on Sunday, we'll be doing the final show of the whole festival, the giant kind of... Uh, jam where we try to pull as many people up on stage as possible after we finish uh, my material we kind of go into some covers and see who all wants to play some guitar so please come out for that it's a lot of fun hi my name is Elise Young I'm from Lafayette Louisiana and I'm 15 and this is my first time being here and I'm really excited to be here um, I have two albums released uh, and I just released the last one is an EP, an acoustic EP, so I'll be playing songs from those and some new songs, too. Hey, everybody. I'm Sean Mullins, and I've been here all 27 years of the festival. It's been really awesome. Um, I'm sad that this is the last year. I really am. It's, uh, I don't get it. That seems like it was going so well, but... Uh, Anyway, I, I'm excited. I love this festival. One of the things is, I'm sorry, I know. My whole crew back there is like, no. the press conference, don't do that. Um, my whole thing is, I love the idea of getting together with other people and writing songs. It's what I, it really does a lot for me, and I love the community of it, and I love watching and listening and learning. Um, last year, Tom, or some of us know him as Panda, uh, we wrote a song called The Pre-Apocalyptic Blues right here at 30A last year, and it's on my brand new album. Um, and so that's the kind of thing that happens here. You know, people get together and write, and, and we weren't doing it to try to come up with a song for my record. We, we were watching too, too many uh, zombie apocalypse movies or whatever, and, and uh, Naked and Afraid episodes. And we ended up coming up, kind of getting paranoid and writing this song. It was really funny. I had a blast. So anyway, I know that's a long thing, but I love being here, and I'm so glad to, to keep doing it. Year 28, so. festivals in my career, but last year I was super impressed with the talent that has come down. I mean, every round that I had, everybody was so different, but so amazing. I mean, I just remember sitting, like, I was sitting on the stage listening to Heather Maloney, who's like a Joni Mitchell, then Andrea Paro, who was singing his face off about, I mean, I didn't, he, I didn't even know what he was singing about, I just was mesmerized, and then Robbie, I mean, everybody was just so different and so beautifully talented, and I think that's, for me, what sticks out. I was lucky to be here for the first year as a spectator and uh, was not playing. And one of the things that struck me that was so unique about this festival versus other ones is just, uh, as like you were saying, the variety of talent is just so amazing. You have so many songwriters from so many different areas. And one of the things that I think a lot of the people who come uh, as attendees really enjoy is that sometimes you'll walk in and you won't necessarily know the name of the person who's there. Uh, you might know one person in the round and the other two you're not familiar with. And you walk away having seen three amazing songwriters. Uh, and, and one of the things I liked watching the first year was sometimes um, somebody who wasn't familiar with, you know, necessarily like the Nashville songwriter scene where you have these people writing songs and then somebody else takes it and makes it this massive hit. Uh, and you'd see somebody watching and they go, oh, that song. Wow, you wrote that, that's amazing. Yeah, and you see these people just have their minds blown by the talent of the songwriters who, uh, you know, sometimes don't necessarily get as much credit as they should for writing these amazing songs. And then down <laughs> here, that's really where the spotlight is. It's on the people who are writing 
the actual songs, you know, and a lot of them also are performing them as well. Um, but I think that's something that makes it, as far as people who are here to see it, um, something really unique. And then playing it, as you were saying, it's just so amazing. And Sean, you were alluding to this, just the amount of talent that you can hang out with, you know, and just kind of maybe write with or hang out and have a drink and talk about songwriting. And it's just such an amazing community. I know the ASCAP party is always great for going and hanging out with fellow songwriters and kind of talking trade and talking shop. And it's really cool. You don't get that at a lot of other festivals, I don't think. So. So I want you guys to answer this for Elise. Because Elise is your 15 that mentioned, and the rest of you are older. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 what, advice, what advice would you give Elise as far as making the most of this kind of festival? Um, what would you what would do you want to tell her how to make the maximize this opportunity? Well, I feel like she probably has more experience than I do. I've only been doing music since January of 2014. It was a one-off project that kind of took off in a way that I'm still trying to catch my breath. So with my expectation of coming here, it was, uh, who am I to be invited to an event like this? And I'm coming here with zero expectations, and not in a negative way, but expectations for something amazing to happen. And with one hand open, to be ready to receive something, inspiration. And the other hand at my side, at rest, that I have nothing to prove, and all I have to do is let my gift take over. Let my, I mean, I can't manipulate something inside of me, it wouldn't be natural and people would know, like, that's cool, but something just feels off. It's like a mirage. Um, I was listening to a little clip by Missy Elliott. Do you guys know who that is? And she said that there are just so many people doing the same things. So just do what you do and the right people will follow and the right opportunities will open up for you. And like I said, I haven't been doing this very long and I don't have a catalog of tons of songs, but I do have the experience of my mom singing every morning to get us up out of bed. I do have the experience of going to my grandmother's house and sitting at the piano and just trying to play songs. I have the experience of inviting my affluent friends over and putting tape on the keys of a keyboard and I play the song so I can teach myself or listening to music for hours and little did I know years later that I would be performing. I'm like in debt because I went to film school. We'll talk about that later. Um, and now I'm doing music and I never saw it coming but I can see in high insight how I've been prepped to be here today. So it's so awesome you have the opportunity to start so young. Yeah. So we have a couple of new arrivals at our Started it off with telling us who you are, um, what you'll be performing, or where you'll be performing, how your set will be, mm. and what you've been on doing after that. After the set. <laughs> that's <laughs> optional. That's part B. That's assuming we get through the set. That's right. I'm Lee Phillips. Um, this is the second time that I've been here to uh, the 30A. Um, I was here the year before last. Uh, I'm a singer-songwriter. Some, some, some of you might know me from Grantley Buffalo, the band that I was with in the 90s. Um, I've been out there on my own since about 99, 2000, something like that. Some folks know me as the Troubadour on the Gilmore Girls. Thank you. <laughs> um, some folks know me as the guy who's just hanging out with Chris this weekend. Um, Anyhow, it's great to be here, and it's great to be among so many, so many uh, awesome writers, and uh, you know, inspiration is just a, uh, it's a vital, a vital resource that we don't take lightly, and uh, to be here is so inspiring, just to, to be able to soak it up and hope that you can kind of go home with some of that, that dust on you is a good thing. I have no idea what I'm doing after this show tonight. I have a coconut macaroon waiting for me back in the room. <laughs> Yeah, crystals. Hi. Uh, sorry, I was late. Um, I'm Crystals. This is also my 
second year and uh, uh, very gratefully um, invited by Russell and and uh, really loved loved it last year and decided to come back um, when I got the invitation. Um, playing at Kaliza tonight at uh, 10 o'clock and if, if I make it through that gig, if I don't freeze, I think it's outside. Um,